Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen Jezik. If you are new here, I talk about everything self-care so that you can live a self-care life. So if that sounds like something you're interested in or you're trying to take better care of yourself this year, hit the subscribe button below and the bell next to it to be notified every time I post a new self-care video. This week, let's face it, probably a lot of us are at home. We've been at home for a little while now. We are starting to miss our self-care routines that we do out of the house. Maybe it's getting your hair done. Maybe it's getting your eyebrows waxed or a massage or nails if you do it. I've gotten so desperate, I've done my own nails. I never do my nails. <laughs> I don't usually get them done unless it's for work, um, but just looking for new ways to pamper myself. And I stumbled across this these directions for a lymphatic drainage facial that you can do at home. So I figured I'm gonna do it with you guys for the first time and I'm gonna post my before and my after so you can see what the process is to do it and if it made any difference. So let's get it going. Okay, I'm gonna use, so I've washed my face. This is step one, wash your face. Don't have any oils or junk in it that you're gonna be rubbing into your skin. And it feels pretty tight right now because it's dry. Normally I put moisturizer on right after, but since it is dry, I'm gonna try to do sort of a mask treatment. So I'm going to rub in my facial with Egyptian Magic Cream. If you haven't seen my video on it, go check that out. Uh, just walking through the pros and cons and how to use it. But you don't wanna do a lymphatic drainage facial with your bare hands because you're gonna be like pulling at the skin and uh, not like pulling at the skin. You'll be pulling at the skin if your hands are dry and your skin's dry. So you just want something between it. Some people use moisturizer, some people use a serum because that penetrates deeper into the skin when you're massaging it in. But I like this cream because my skin is so dry and I would have to reapply serums or moisturizers if I was gonna go through the whole facial massage. So this is you know, very oily. If you've seen my video, you know how oily it can get. And I will probably leave it on for like 20 minutes and then wipe it off after or leave it longer because where am I going? Let's be honest, I'm here, I'm at home, who cares? So I'm gonna start by just putting a little bit of this in my hands. And I think you've seen the consistency if you've seen the video, but I'll take a good amount because I don't know how long this massage is gonna be because it is my first time. But this basically gets really oily. It doesn't stay that like white consistency. So I'm gonna start, I have my directions over here and I will post these directions to my Instagram. If you head over to instagram.com slash Kristen Jezik, you can find all the directions to do this for yourself or just watch along and I will show you how to do it. So the first instruction is massage from chin to temples, which I'm guessing is like this. I'm gonna go this way because temples though, temples are up here. <laughs> So see how like my skin is pulling this because my fingers were dry. So I have, I'm gonna get it like all over the tips and anywhere that I'm going to be doing the massage. And this template doesn't say how long to do each one. So I'm kind of gonna do it intuitively like when it starts feeling good. You also wanna have your hair back because I have these little baby hairs that are like getting stuck. It's not the look. So it actually feels really good, guys. Even if it doesn't do anything, <laughs> it just feels good. It just feels pampering, you know? Like we have to find ways to pamper ourselves at home. We can't just let our self-care routine go away because we are we don't have our normal spots. This is like the best time to figure out what you're gonna do for yourself at home, sometimes with what you have, sometimes with adding something new to your routine. But I love this because it's just your hands and it feels really luxurious. It feels like going to a spa. Also, I'm wearing my robe because every little bit helps, guys. Like anything you can do to just relax a little more. Okay, I feel good on this move. Second move, massage cheeks to forehead. Cheeks to forehead, but it does show like lines here, so maybe it's like this. Also, like, obviously I'm not a masseuse or a professional, so 
you know, use what you know about your own massages and how it feels on your face. And obviously be smart. Use products that are good for your skin. And be gentle. Oh, that's something I should say. You, when you're massaging your face, like you don't want to be ripping apart your face. It should be gentle. It should feel good. You don't want to torture your skin here. Okay. Massage across forehead. So the, another reason I'm using this Egyptian magic cream is because it is so oily because by now, honestly, my moisturizer would have absorbed and I don't think I've ever put enough serum on my hands that it would last this long. Also, the serum I use right now is pretty watery. So maybe if you have a creamier moisturizer or a creamier serum, it would be good to use. But keep in mind, you know, the length of how long we'll be massaging and make sure you have enough product to keep your skin um, very moist to avoid pulling. Okay, number four. And maybe I'm doing this too fast for you guys. If you need more time on each step, just do it till when it feels good, you know? If it stops feeling good, move on. Okay, number five. No, number four. Massage along nose to forehead. Nose to forehead. Okay. Massage from chin to eyes and back. This one's a little tricky. Chin to eyes and back. But the line shows both outside here and then it says like up here. So I'm gonna go on the outside and go on the inside. Again, guys, like I'm trying this for the first time too. So <laughs> we are working with what we got. Chin to eyes and back. Okay, massage temple and cheek. So it's got people like this. I don't know what direction temple. I mean, that does feel good. I think I'm going to do both at the same time, though. You know how, like, when you're stressed, sometimes, like, touching the temples feels good? It's kind of like that right now. <laughs> Just ever check yourself. And I actually feel some heat in my skin. I don't know if that's the blood flow, but I'm sure that will go away. Having a little bit of redness, maybe. But this feels really good, guys. I try to picture myself at a facial massage or at an actual massage. Obviously, for the video, I'm not going to do this, but you can have music in the background or um, like your favorite music or um, some eucalyptus essential oil. Check out my video on my Epsom salt bath routine. I talk about kind of just setting the stage to have a comfortable uh, spa time at home because you just want to make it as relaxing as possible. You know, go to a space where no one is going to bother you or it's just your own little space if you can and set the mood for yourself like you would go to a spa. Okay, that was number six. Number seven is massage around mouth and down chin. Oh my gosh, this one looks so funny. <laughs> so I've heard people say in lymphatic drainage that you actually can feel like whatever the lymph nodes have in them, the lymph fluid uh, going down your throat when you're doing these massages. And I actually am starting to feel that. So I think that's a good sign if you feel that. It means it's draining it out. Again, not a lymph expert, just from what I've heard and how I've experienced lymphatic massages. This also feels good if you're 
smiling a lot or talking a lot. I know we're doing Zoom meetings or FaceTiming and it's just good to just relax the face. Okay. And you see I'm kind of taking liberties, like it feels good to go like this. But you know, do your own facial massage, it feels good for you. Okay, massage upside of jaw from chin to temple. I think it's like this. Ooh, shiny sees it and look at this. I've also seen people do this move. Feels like it would do something to like clean you out. I don't know how I do it this side. Again, if you need more time on any of these areas, just pause the video and do it for yourself. You can do as much as you want or you're comfortable with. Obviously, you know, use your best judgment. Okay. And number nine is to massage the back of the neck to the base of the skull. I'm just gonna wash the oil off my hands. I like it on my face, it can soak in, but I don't want that extra oil on the back of my neck or my hair. Okay, so I wash my hands off so that I don't get that oil um, on my neck. If you like that oil on your neck, um, you know, by all means keep it or whatever you're using on your hands or maybe if you've used moisturizer serum, it's off your hands now. Uh, it just says massage the back of neck to the base of the skull. This one I feel like I could do for a long time. It feels really good. And this part feels more like a massage I've had where they're getting the back of your neck. Obviously be very gentle with yourself. This is your neck, you wanna be careful. I am not a masseuse, so this is, if I can do this at home, I don't see any reason why you can't do it at home. And it still feels good, you know, this isn't it isn't go out to your favorite spa place by any means, but just taking this time for yourself is an excellent way to build up a routine that you're gonna keep when you go back to the real world and go back to doing stuff outside. So anything you can do just in a little way or take a few of these movements and incorporate them every day into your face wash moisturizing routine to just rub that that moisturizer in in a way that feels good and that you're going to penetrate and kind of move around your face oh my gosh guys I think I'm just gonna like massage my neck for 10 more minutes so I'll stop here I'm gonna post my before and my after so you can see the difference and I will probably let this mask mask soak in for a little bit longer and then I will just wipe it off or I'll just let it soak until it's all done. But you see I'm a little bit oily, a little bit red because I'm moving that blood around. Um, but you guys tell me, what do you think? Did it make a difference from before to after? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys love this video. Let me know in the comments below if you're gonna try it. And if you want to do this for yourself and want to see the instructions in front of you, I'm going to post them to my Instagram. So go ahead and follow me there at Kristen Jezik. And I will see you guys next week. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications next Saturday when I post my new self-care video. And I'll see you then. I love you and be well.